Hey guys, what's going on? My name is FindMD and I'm a UX UI designer in Toronto. And today is going to be an exciting video. Matter of fact, it's a brand new concept. Is I'm going to give you guys my two cents on YouTube's new design update plus the new feature. So let's go get it. So I'm not sure that if you guys know this, but YouTube has released a new design and a new feature on their website. Mainly it's on the desktop. It's not a heavy change, but I feel like this design was more toward UX. So users can click more, they can enjoy the content more on their website. And I believe there was one small feature on the app. Having said that, every time when a known website like YouTube, Airbnb, Uber, Google, and etc., when they publish a new design update, I will create a video, give you guys my two cents, and I hope you guys like it. That's pretty much it. So, we are gonna go and check this together. Ah, I was trying to do it side by side, but since this is responsive, the thumbnails will definitely decrease. Anywho, I think the new one off the bat is a thousand times better because number one, you users will now click on new content a lot more because of the fact, uh, aside from the thumbnails being much better, bigger you can actually see a little glimpse of the content that you're about to watch which is a thousand times better than you know not knowing what the video kind of actually is and also the effective thing is the user profile being right there so if you follow the creator there's that uh, brand trust in there so outstanding job in that and in the old, old look as you can see there's when you when you click here it just goes to watch later and that's all you have however on the new one you can actually click here and watch it while you're surfing for more content and you can also click again it gets added at the bottom and then again and again so here's what happens if you want to watch this on full mode so when you go right here uh, the list that you have created is on the right hand side so you can click over here or over we here, whatever you guys like. Right. And also you can minimize the, um, your list and browse more content on the right side. So this is only for the main page desktop experience. So let's just go back. Okay. As you can see, I still have my list. So let's just get rid of this for a second. Uh, close player. Sure. Why not? Now, another option is let's see which one do I not want? Do I not want? I don't want. Hold on. Okay, right here. I don't really want this uh, YouTube channel here because the content that I serve when I'm logged into my YouTube channel are either music and design related. So having said that, I can just click over here instead of saying not interested. When you say not interested, that means you're not interested in this video. So let's just click on don't recommend channel. Boom, done. So I'm not going to see that content creator when I'm logged in anymore. As you can see in the search result page, the hover effect is there and you can also save it and create your own list as you go along. So there's that. Keep in mind now, if you go to the detail page, which is the video detail page, um, you will definitely see your list here. So it doesn't really matter where you go. So let's just go to a random page. Uh, let's just go to Ted one here. And I still have my list no matter what. So I can minimize that list. And there you go. Another interesting thing I want to see is what happens when I click on their playlist. So go to playlist here. See, I click on this one. So as you can see, that if once you click on the content creator's playlist, your one your uh, safety queue, like the playlist that you have created, actually gets removed and replaced by the playlist that this content creator Ted has created. So that's the only thing that you can view. I feel like there should have been uh, A-B testing on this. Like I would want to see my playlist maybe at the, maybe first and then the content creator's playlist second. I think that might be better or vice versa. But I don't think removing my personal playlist would have been a, was a great option for YouTube. All right, so let's click on this right here. As you can see, they have changed this subscriber button. Now it's just a text. Yeah, so as you can see, compared to the icons here, the user icon, text, and everything, the subscribe 
does stand out because of the fact that it's red and everything else is like grayish. So in that standpoint, I think the subscribe button will do a lot better than it did before. Like I said, only because it's the color red. Um, I think the clicks will be better, but then again, I don't really know. I'm sure they have tested it out, so let's just see how well it does this next six months. And I think that's all what we got for today. Let me know what are your thoughts on YouTube's latest update. So keep in mind, there, there were just the slight updates on desktop and one small update in the mobile app. So check those out, pop your app, check out the, the new subscribe button, go on, on desktop. Let me know how you feel about these big thumbnails and the fact that when you hover over it. So I'm very curious to see what are your thoughts. And this is my new temporary setup. It's actually my living room. Not my living room, my dining room and my living room is over there. Okay, I gotta go edit this video and upload it on Sunday. So okay, I'm gonna go, peace out. To be honest, I'm actually digging their hover effect. Like you can see a little bit of the video before clicking on it. Is it interesting or not? I'm really, really digging this. Like I think this is an outstanding job. Good job, YouTube. Good job. <laughs>